In the mid-50s, two actresses then known as Sarah Buckner and Yvonne Lime met on the set of The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. The young stars soon found themselves singing their way through Southeast Asia on a USO tour. Little did they know that that trip would be the beginning of a journey that continues today. It was October 1959. The remnants of a typhoon was bearing down on the island of Japan, but the two ladies ventured out into the street and saw a sight that hurt them to their cores. There, in the rain, the wind, and the cold, were huddled 11 unwanted children, cast-offs with no home and no caring parents to look after them. Sarah and Yvonne offered the warmth of their coats to the children, then took them back to their hotel for food and shelter. But what now? Sarah and Yvonne decided the only thing they could do was to start an orphanage. It would be one of five orphanages the two would eventually build, plus a hospital and a school, all spearheaded by Sarah and Yvonne with dedicated Marine Corps partners and funded with the help of the generosity of their friends and film contacts back home. In 1975, the fall of Saigon was imminent. Word reached Sarah and Yvonne that thousands of orphaned children from South Vietnam were in harm's way. And so began Operation Babylift. Into the waiting, welcoming arms of new parents went over 2,000 children. Witnessing their life-saving efforts, the First Lady of California at the time, Nancy Reagan, implored Sarah and Yvonne to lend their talents here at home to what she called America's best-kept secret, child abuse and neglect. In 1976, the first of a number of residential facilities was opened, each designed to give abused and neglected children a protective, nurturing environment, a place to be safe. In the 1980s, Children's Village USA implemented the first national toll-free hotline, 1-800-FOR-A-CHILD. In 1983, a name change, Child Help. With the national hotline and other initiatives, Child Help was now truly a national organization, one that could offer help to abuse children nationwide. Child Help would go on to open group homes in California to give children transitioning to foster care a protective place to find support and safety. In the early 90s, sod is turned and a new 270-acre residential center, the Alice C. Tyler Village of Child Help East, soon offers programs for the treatment of abused and neglected children there. Child advocacy centers in Tennessee and Arizona would follow. Educational programs, such as Speak Up and Be Safe, would signal the start of Child Help's new initiatives on the prevention of abuse and neglect. In 2000, Merv Griffin donates his sprawling dude ranch to the cause. More child advocacy centers would open, plus foster care programs, abuse prevention education initiatives, and much more. And all the while, Sarah O'Meara and Yvonne Federson would receive not only the admiration of their peers, but honorary university doctorates, countless awards and accolades, and impressively, nine Nobel Peace Prize nominations. Today, we commemorate their Diamond Jubilee, and we celebrate an amazing journey that has changed the lives of over 10 million children for the better. The path that Sarah and Yvonne started on 60 years ago has led to Child Help becoming the largest nonprofit organization in the world that is dedicated to helping at risk children and victims of child abuse and neglect. What began as a simple act of kindness has transformed into an organization offering hope and inspiration to millions.